Hey guys, it's Janet Vosky. Today I'm going to talk about the process of self-publishing my very own poetry book. I put together a couple of questions that I wish I knew the answers to before I self-published that may help you if you're looking to self-publish. And I also wanted to talk a little bit more about the content of my poetry book itself. So here we go. To understand how long it took me to write the book, I think you need to understand the content of it. So to begin, it's very raw, it's very emotional, it deals quite deeply in a very personal breakup that I went through a couple of years ago. In total, it probably took me about close to six to eight months to actually get the content written, to edit, to format and everything else. That would probably be a total of one and a half years. I knew the book was finished when I felt that I expressed everything that I needed to express and upon reading it, I knew that it would help someone going through something similar. Absolutely not. I felt as though when I was really trying to express myself through my, my emotions, through my words, I didn't necessarily need someone to ghostwrite for me. The thing that I did get was an editor but I highly also recommend getting an editor just to make sure all the grammar is correct and the tenses as well. For me finding an editor was very important. I knew I wanted to find someone who had that experience of either writing a poetry book themselves or had already edited a poet's work. It took me a while to find the right avenue to find my own editor. I found this website called Editors NSW. I believe it's an Australian website, basically what the process is. The way I found an editor through that website was I contacted their email address and provided a couple of details that I wanted from my editor. Anything specific that I wanted them to target while editing my work. Then they sent that email to a list of accredited editors and what that allowed me to do is sit back I guess and relax, watch all these emails coming through on particular editors or people that were interested in editing my work. Then when I received all the inquiries coming through I had to shortlist and basically decide for myself who can I work with and how best can they help me in what I want to achieve. Through that process is how I found my editor who I used, Susan Scott. She was an incredible editor and gave an incredible amount of support through the whole process and that's how I found my editor. I was doing a lot of research, um, so one of that includes having an ISBN, which is basically like having a serial number for your book. And the important thing to note with that is that you need an ISBN. As an example, I have my book Bones, I had a soft cover version and I had an ebook version. You need an ISBN for both formats of the book. So the other thing that I looked into as Susan was editing my work, what I wanted on the cover. So I found this website called Adobe Spark, it's free. I played around with the images that I thought that I would be interested in using in my book and also played around with the fonts and how I would look the font and the title and my name and everything like that to look on the front cover, the back cover and the spine. One more thing to be mindful of in terms of the font is just make sure that you check all the copyrights just to make sure that you can actually use it on your book. That's how I felt. <laughs> it was, but it also wasn't. And the reason why I say that is because, yes, I did have to spend quite a few thousand dollars, but I do see it as an investment because to me it is something I'm extremely passionate about and something that I really wanted to do is just self-publish this book. I think it was extremely worth it and I think it was worth every cent that I spent on doing it. Yes. <laughs> Um, ex yes, there were so many times where I just wanted to throw my laptop out the window, I would call a friend crying, there were so many occasions where I wanted to <laughs> give up. The thing that kept me going through that is knowing that I was doing something that, again, I was extremely passionate about and I wanted to achieve this, and to me, Having it out there, knowing that the possibility it could help one person was enough for me to know that I was gonna see it through to the very end. So I shopped around a lot 
and I did a lot of research on which self-publisher to go with. The reason why I decided to go with Ingram Spark in the end is because it was extremely user-friendly. I found it very easy to use. And would I recommend it to someone else? Absolutely. Very happy. If you're looking to self-publish, I would absolutely recommend doing it. I learned so much about myself through this whole process. I wanted to give up several times, but in the end, I learned that I am very capable of achieving what I wanted to achieve with this book right here. And I know that for a fact, if you have the same determination, if you are very passionate about what you're doing, what you're writing, you can do it too. This is my poetry book, Bones. I just wanted to show you this before I let you go. If you are interested in purchasing the book, it is available on my website through Amazon and other major book retailers. I'll leave the link down below. And if you are looking to self-publish, if you have any questions at all, just pop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>